Tonight we are approaching the deadline for people to cast their votes in the county supervisor's race to replace Nathan Fletcher in District 4. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee and I'm Jesse Pagan in for Carlo Chiquetto. Poll workers have been busy at voting centers across the entire district. CBS 8's Brian White is closely following this race. He's live at the Registrar of Voters office with the latest. Brian. That's right, only two hours left until polls close here at the county registrar and at 14 vote centers around the district. And we, we caught up with voters who headed out to the polls today to cast their ballots. It's special. It's the coolest thing you can do. It's super important. I think it is anyway. You need to get out there and let your views be known no matter where you, where you stand and uh, make the process work. In this race, we have four candidates there, Janessa Goldbeck, Paul McQuig, Monica Montgomery Stepp, and Amy Reichert. To win, a candidate must receive a majority of votes. That's 50% plus one, or this will go to a runoff November 7th between the top two vote getters. So here's what we know so far about early voting numbers. 77,000 mail ballots have been returned. 12,000 ballots have come in from drop box locations. And for the in-person early voting that's been happening since August 5th, only about 800 votes have come in that way. So if you add all that up, early voting is showing about 90,000 votes so far, and that's counting any votes received today on Election Day, whether in person or mail ballots. Now, we caught up with voter Teresa Williams, who casted her vote at the Skyline Hills Library. Here's what she's looking for in her next county supervisor. Whoever represents us needs to represent us for real. I'm tired of people just saying, oh, we'll do this and do that. We need y'all to do it. I want them to really step up and be here, listen to what we need and fight for our needs. Now again, polls close at 8 o'clock at the 14 vote centers around the district. And shortly after that, the county registrar here will release the first batch of vote tallies. And Brian, do we know what the percentage of voter turnout is looking like so far? Well, with the 90,000 ballots returned so far through mail-in and early voting, and with uh, about 400,000 registered voters in the district, we know that's about 22% voter turnout so far, but that's not counting any of the election day ballots. So when those are added in, that number will go higher. All right, we'll see what happens as the election day comes to an official end in just a few hours. Brian White live for us tonight. Brian, thank you.